the education sector has been one of the hardest hit sectors by COVID-19 uh, worldwide. In Kenya specifically, 16 million children are at home today and the education calendar will see a shift in more than possibly nine months if schools reopen in 2021, January as anticipated. Another major impact of uh, COVID-19 on the education sector has been uh, the negative economic impacts that have been experienced by private sector education service providers. The entire sector has uh, provided employment to about 600,000 wage employees. Last year, this sector also grew by about 5.4%, which was a growth rate that was even higher than that experienced in the manufacturing and agricultural sectors. Uh, finally, schools are not just places to learn. There are places where for children who are marginalized, uh, they have been the main sources sometimes for some of these children, sources of food. One of the coping mechanisms that have been adopted is homeschooling or e-learning. And this has seen a widening of the gap between the haves and the have-nots. In homes where um, homeschooling has been adopted, which was found to be about 45% of all homes, uh, this has increased the burden on parents, uh, assigning them additional roles as teachers themselves. Uh, for children that have adopted online learning, there are obviously privacy concerns with e-learning tools that uh, are very difficult to control, particularly where children are left alone with internet-enabled gadgets without parental supervision. For the children who have been unable to adopt these forms of learning, uh, they are an estimated 25% of all students uh, were found to have completely discontinued learning. And for these children, uh, in cases where their parents also have to go to work, the lack of parental and teacher supervision has resulted in uh, them likely engaging in a lot of social vices, possibly like drugs and uh, early, child, uh, early pregnancies or unwanted pregnancies. And it remains to be seen as to whether this pandemic and this long period of disruption will cause a change in Kenya's transition rate that had grown exponentially to about 85%.